<laughs> Let me tell y'all. Before I even introduce the podcast, oh, me and Tam sitting up here, we talk before we start the podcast. Oh, right? my goodness. It has never failed at least once, twice a month. She say something right before I press the record button, and this is what you get. Yes, I saw y'all. But my mm-hmm. nose is red. That's how hard I'm trying not to oh, laugh. Jesus. My, my whole y'all, face is I, red. I apologize for my wig. It's a, a, I apologize little, it's a little twisted mm-hmm. over here. Mm-hmm. But Carol, I'm coming to see you tomorrow. Because yeah. this right here, this feels like a pillow. I'm trying to hold it's off stuffing. until before my trip. We, okay, we, we good. I just, Hi, hey y'all! Welcome to the podcast, Muse Aficionado, episode fifty six. Where it was. So glad I started writing these things down. It just takes away from the confusion. Yes, yes. All right. Um, let's just get this out the way. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant and Gigi and the seven other people that were in that horrific helicopter crash. Um, uh, it's been a blur. It's been I've been lethargic for like. Yeah. Since Sunday. I've been um you know, I had to Sunday overdose myself with witches and hell to kinda take my mind somewhere else so I yeah. wouldn't um and I thought I was good until I got in the car Monday morning and the radio. It's the ra- it's the radio, it's social media. It was at, it's, it's everywhere. TV, it's everywhere. And so and it's like I get it, people are feeling mm-hmm. and emoting and um you know, my other, my sister is, We I always joke and say she's an empath, but she said on Monday morning she felt like she had been beat up. Yeah. Physically beat up. And that's just because it was, it was a lot to deal with mm-hmm. on Sunday. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, um, we're going to push on a little bit. Yeah. And hopefully the podcast will make you laugh. Yes. And give you some sunshine yeah. in a rainy day. Absolutely. Um, so new music. I told y'all last week we was not doing this whole oh and then this and then this, and now. So all of the good stuff. Well, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> well, Meg came out with B I T C H. I still haven't listened to it. It was not the good stuff. <laughs> it wasn't the good stuff. I was hoping you didn't <laughs> say it was that. Not the good stuff. I love Meg, which is why I'm even putting this on the podcast. It was okay. Oh. It was okay. So the um, sample that uh, they're using is Boosie Collins' uh, "Rather Be with, with You." Yeah, but just uh, I mean, okay, I'm gonna move on because I like Meg. So Break I'm me back to the on. "I'd Rather Be With You." I have a, I have a story I'd about this song. Be with Go through the list, you. and I'll tell you the story. All right, that song. keeping in um, in context with the word "bitch," uh, <laughs> Doja Cat has a song off the Birds of Prey soundtrack called "Boss Bitch." I like this song. Okay. It's a bop. It's a mid to mid to up tempo. Yeah, I said that right. Okay. Mid to up tempo. Um, she's rapping her little butt off. It's a good song. Okay, God with you. Um, I think I did all women. Mad at me by Kiana Lee Day. Oh, oh I love Kiana Lee Day. I'm probably saying it wrong. I don't care, but I like her. Um, this is in the. I feel like a lot of these are samples, of course. This is in the key of So Fresh and So Clean. Okay. But it's, uh, don't be mad at me, which I wasn't. Oh, I got you. I was you. very happy with that song. I got you. Um, Pussy Fairy by Janae Aiko. I know you heard that song. I did. <laughs> look, it's a, look as I smile. <laughs> I did. Yeah. All right. I mean, she's the only one. We've talked about this when I'm going to get my hair done. That she's the only person that can... Um, sing the word dick and it don't sound like she's saying it. Sounds very that. melodious. It sounds, yeah, it's very it melodious. Like, oh, and like, oh. so like, you're like, oh, and she said, you be singing it and you don't even like me and Kira was talking about it. Mm-hmm. It was like, you be singing it and you be like, wait. In sing song, you don't even yeah, realize, you don't even realize that singing it. it. I'm like, oh, oh, wait, I just said a whole bunch of it's things. Things, yes. But she, you know. Yeah. She, she just. She does that. Yeah. So I, you know, if she make one more song that I like, I'm going to have to change my stance. Remember, Look. I was not a fan. And so, if she keep this up, I might have to come on to the dark side. I ain't even going to say nothing. To the pussy fairy side. Look, I might I have to come on gonna, to the dark side. I ain't even going to say nothing. Look. <laughs> 
And last but not least, uh, Lion Babe did a uh, Blue Six. And when I say Blue Six, you know what I mean. Yes. Blue Six type version of Hot in Here. It's like by nice. Nelly? Yes. It's nice. Tan, look. Look, wait a minute. I ain't played y'all some in a long time. So just because the thing is it. that, like, I'm just, a, nice. I love her voice. And I like Lion Babe as a whole. It's so nice. just, I'm trying to imagine how they made Hot in Here. It's really nice. Hold on, I'll give it Anti-St. Louis. It, it was yeah, it was very anti St. Louis. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, she made it a tune. I said okay. blue six version. Yeah, she made it a tune. It's very blue six version. Oh, they flag She really yes. made it a bop. Yes. I was listening to this. I was like, oh, I could be, I would dance to this. Yeah, this would be like, yes. um, I would prefer this version to the Nelly version when I go out. Look. And I was like, because with the Nelly version, you can't really dance to it. No, but this right here. Because this is all you do. And that's not really Unless dancing. you drop down, get your eagle on, and you blow your knee out like I did. Anyway. Man. <laughs> Huh. Um, you want to talk about the Rock Nation brunch or you want to talk about the Grammy recap? Let's, um... The nerve and the audacity. Y'all know I recorded at 7 o'clock. Okay, that's, and they, yeah. that's not the point. And they be, they be hounding you. Um, okay. We can talk about the Rock Nation brunch because I just saw pictures. Yes. And I, I'm pretty, pretty sure that everybody and their damn mama was at the damn brunch. Except for us. I don't know why this is our second year Jay that our invitation has gotten lost. Keep not inviting us every year. This is the second year. I that mean, we have done this Beyonce, podcast this is strike two for you because I didn't get my Ivy Park box. You didn't get your Ivy Park box? No, I got an orange box, but it was not Ivy Park. I mean, I could, I mean, you could have just sent me a, a small box. It doesn't. It doesn't come in. Well, you little now, so it, oh, don't, come girl. In my, it don't come in my size. I ain't that the largest little. size is extra large. <laughs> I can probably fit the the top. Yeah. The maybe, I can't fit the bottom. I'm maybe the bottom I could. Because you know I'm SpongeBob. So Lord Jesus and Christ. So yeah, last, again this year we did not get invited to the Rock Nation broadcast. I mean, I, and I, I was. I, I mean, because the suit that Jay, then he took my suit. Jay Z had my suit on. I would have. <laughs> we would have been looking like twins. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. I mean, what's I the know. come on, Rock Nation? Y'all talk, talk to him. I mean, you like want, you want to call him while we on the podcast? I mean, you want to call him right now? I'm gonna have to send him? some text messages and okay. see what the word is. Okay. I mean, it was people at the Rock Nation brunch that I was like, hold on, how did they get there? How did they get there? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I mean, hmm. I know some of y'all signed the Rock Nation. Some that of y'all mean that don't mean you get invited to the brunch. Okay, I'm going to say this because me and my sister have been trying to figure this out. Mm -hmm. There is a man that resides in the city of Atlanta who is in photos with all the celebrities Mm -hmm. and he was at the Rock Nation brunch. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know what he does. Mm -hmm. His name is Mr. Ruggs. I don't know what he does. I thought he was a producer. No. He's not? No, he's not. <laughs> well, he scammed his way you into either, the goddamn either, brunch. Either I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that he doesn't do something, but I have absolutely no fucking idea what it is that he does. <laughs> and he is goddamn everywhere. So I need to sit down with him. Fuck the seventy thousand dollars that you would make at the brunch for talking. I need to talk to Mr. Rosie around the corner. Okay. What do you do <laughs> so that I can do it too? Because I want to be where you be at. You can do it too. You Easy. Can do it too. If some of y'all watching live in Atlanta, or if y'all don't live in Atlanta, but y'all know who Mr. Ruggs is, can y'all send me a message to tell me who he is? I ain't got nothing against the man. I just want to know. <laughs> so, so, a couple things I learned. Yes. Uh, I already knew that Kevin Hart was short, but when he was standing by everybody else, Making his speech, he looked Look, real short. He looked itty bitty short. When I tell you he is a mid 
Jet. Okay. The second thing I learned is that Janae and Big Sean have to still be together. <laughs> These roses, uh, they are still together. I don't care what they say. I'm not rolling with my ex everywhere and we ain't still together. Let me tell you something. No. No. I think that they took a break. Yes, and came back to each other. And he went and said he needed to get his mental health together. He went and did that. And she is the love of his life, and they gonna be together. That is, it. you know, I knew that when she he was at her a daughter's birthday party. Yes, with the family. So you made trigger, and I appreciated it. But y'all back together, so nah. I just um, all I know is that Young Guru took a picture of them, and he put twenty eighty eight underneath, and I had to put it in my Instagram stories just for you. I need to look at her Instagram stories today. So, the other thing I learned is that Meek Mill and his uh, child's mother are super cute together, Milano. Yes. They're so cute together. He still hasn't said publicly that that's his he baby. He got to, you know that. And baby. I don't need him The to. baby know and, and she, she know. And she know. There you go. Because she yes. was at the Rock Nation brunch with him. Yes. Well, and you know all her pregnant glory. But you know who wasn't there? Thank you. Oh. Who? She's been blocked from the boys. She's Miss been Patty. <laughs> Miss Patty. Very Patty. Um, let's just do the Grammy recap. Did you watch the Grammys? I fell asleep. So I'll be doing this segment by my I saw <laughs> I saw up until uh when Camilla Cabello came on. Ka- Camilla. Yes, whatever her name is. Camila Cabello. Whenever she uh came on. Yes. <sighs> okay. I was out. Uh, so. Up to that point, I saw it all. Um, I, I would have to, and I'm going to say this because mm-hmm. before, because I don't want you to stop me. Um, I'm standing for Lizzo this week because her performance was everything for me. Because that song that she sang is one of my favorites of hers. So I like Lizzo. Y'all know I like Lizzo. My issue is I loved her in that white dress. Yeah. Hated her in that black dress. That black dress made her look like a couch. Like it was just like this this is how the dress was looked. She looked But you know like a couch. If you looked at all the dresses and this is But I liked her in the white dress. No, she looked good in the white dress. Yeah. And the one with the beading on that she got from yes. Versace was really yes. nice. Yes, 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 yes. Um the black dress, and I say this because everybody who he dressed this year mm-hmm. had big dresses. So like did you see what Demi Lovato had on? Yes. He did Christian Siriano did her dress and he did Lizzo's dress and all of them were all big. the dresses they he were did big were dresses. big. Yeah. So I think that that was the him. Theme. That was, was his the theme. theme. Yeah. And not necessarily like, you know what I'm saying, like yeah. their purpose, but I think that was his theme with the with the dresses this particular Grammy season. Yeah. So, but um sorry. The song that she sang um, I'm crying because I love you. Yes, is absolutely. My, one of my favorite you. songs by Lizzo. So it's a great song. Yeah, it's a great song. And she had her trap orchestra. Yes, with, with the big girls, with the big girls in the ballerina outfit. which was ballet. everything. I want to shout out. To, um, you probably don't know him, but I used to follow him on Instagram, mm. and he used to do skits like an actor would do skits like you know how they do the funnies on Instagram mm-hmm. but he's actually a choreographer Jamel um, McWilliams is his last name yes okay he, um, and he's the one that did, did the choreography with the girls okay yeah okay um, let's see uh, I said I did talk about Lizzo's dress I literally wrote Lizzo's dresses Billy Porter's hat gave me all the life Dude. and I would like a hat like that Billy Porter's hat was so extra <laughs> That I need that in my life at all times so that when people start talking to me and I don't want to hear it. Look. I love that hat. Yes, the hat was everything. Um, It was good to see Demi Lovato given that she's been having some substance abuse problems. Yes. Um, Why did they treat Ariana Grande like they treated her with the audio and all the other issues she was having? I didn't. Oh, I missed that on the They treated her... Yeah, they they didn't do her right. They did her dirty with the audio and everything. Oh no! Um, it was amazing seeing Big Nas and Lil Nas X. I just um, heard about that. I missed it. Uh, Lil Nas X had on all black, and Nas had on all white, and he was looking godly. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> um, and Usher's Prince tribute. 
Girl, first of all, <laughs> hold on, let's <laughs> let's start here. He did a yeah. Prince tribute uh-huh. and didn't have no purple on. Now I mean not a not, not a stitch of purple. And then and then you had on this jacket that you said was inspired by COVID. That was supposed to be a mamba on the back of it. No, it ain't like a basket. I was like, I don't know what the hell that was. was But you know, I mean. Wait, 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 wait. The most important thing is when he was standing there, he was dead. So I said, oh, he better have an assless uh, pants on. He turned around, no assless pants. I mean, I was was done. We was trying to figure out why he was doing it in the first place. I don't know. Like, and then, but wait a minute. But I kept seeing this girl on stage dancing with him. And I was like, is that Tinashe? And my sister was like, no. It was FKA Twigs. Yes. I was like, I said, why does she look familiar? Like, I was yes. like, I was like, is that Tinashe? I'm going to call the police if Tinashe is at the Grammys. I'm and I was like, the police. why would they have her on the stage and not let her sing? Like, I was super. You wanted to hear her sing? My thing is that if that's what I do or what I call myself doing, yes. you going to put me on the big stage and they ain't going to let me do it? No. I don't, I'm not a dancer. Well, you gonna dance tonight, bitch. You wanna come to the Grammys? You gonna dance tonight? Yeah, that was um, that was an interesting. It was a, it was an it was, odd choice. It was interesting. It was odd to, for me. It was an odd choice. And then the dance moves were James Brown's dance moves. They yes! were not Prince dance and moves. Michael Jackson esque. Yes, I was like, yes. Oh, yes. Usher. <laughs> okay. Look like this. Um, do you have the Jonas Brothers on there? No, I do not. Because I love the Jonas Brothers. I don't have the and Jonas Brothers. because I love my sister, uh, she made me laugh through the whole performance. Because mm-hmm. she was like, oh, they're doing that song. And I said, well, what song is it? And I was like, I don't think I've heard this song because they don't play it on the radio. And she said, mm-hmm. I've heard it. She was like, it's hand jive. <laughs> I said, I said, what? what? And she was like, born to hand jive. <laughs> Like, I didn't even finish seeing that performance because I laughed so hard. She was like, because she said, I guess because they do it in the video, they do the hand job in the video. She said, but now the whole song sounds like born to hand job. And I'm telling you, I was like, Nisha. Nisha, 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 Nisha. Nisha, Nisha. She, I was in tea. I literally was in her room, spread across the bed, screaming because I was laughing so hard. I was like, I can't. With you and the and I love and I absolutely come on now. Nick Jonas is one of my favorite R and B singers. Look, we'll have that conversation another day. But anyway, <laughs> okay, uh-uh-uh. I got it. Pull it together. Um, yes. Huh. Okay, so people that won, I didn't write everybody, but Anderson Park won for best R and B album. Yes. Uh, best R and B song, P J Morton featuring JoJo. Say so. Come on now, P J. And JoJo, ooh, that song is everything. Nipsey got two. He got, uh, what was it, Higher with um, John Legend and, and, yeah. And um, also, uh, what is the song with Roddy Rich that he did? I cannot think of the name of it right now. Rats in the Middle. Yes, so he got two. Um, Wait a minute. Wait, what? Go ahead. I was going to ask you what Tyler, the creator, was doing on stage, but that's okay. I want to talk about that. Okay, come on. Tyler is not for everyone. No, we know that. We agree when we could not, uh, we we couldn't figure out what Igor was about. So we already know that. Um, I actually loved his performance though, only because Tyler to me is not afraid to take those risks. That because he's supposed to be urban or hip hop, that he don't care if y'all don't get it. And, and he don't. He and don't. I absolutely. Yeah. First of all, I had to go back and listen to Igor. Uh, I gave it another go round. Mm-hmm. I actually like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I gave it another go round, and I actually like Igor. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I saw Tyler at something in the water, mm-hmm. and I actually like. First of all, him having Charlie Wilson singing "Earthquake." Have you? I agree. Now <laughs> that was and boys to me. Yes. yes. Have you ever heard? Have yeah. you heard Earthquake? Like? Yeah, the original. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So I was just like, look at look at Charlie and boys to me saying Earthquake. And they all read. But I mean, like, it was it's funny. Like everybody was like, what the hell was Tyler doing? And I was like, he was doing Tyler. Like that's who Tyler is. But. <laughs> You know, he, I mean, the whole ego thing is with the blonde wig. And have you seen his videos? And he'd be wearing the blonde wig. And 
I didn't care about the blonde wig. It was the performance. Well, I mean, I well the thing is that it's just imagine. Remember when um, they had the MTV Awards at Madison Square Garden? Mm-hmm. Not Madison Square Garden, Radio City Music Hall, mm-hmm. and Eminem walked in with all those Eminems. Yes. So Tyler, Tyler did had Tyler yes. did the same thing no, with I all the that. Tylers. I get that. But I just think Tyler's not for everybody. No. And everybody's not going to like it. But I think that, you know, what he did as his performance was a reflection of who he is mm-hmm. and what his what his music is. He's really like, he's like the black kid that hung around with everybody mm-hmm. and just kind of did whatever. And the black people were kind of like, he's cool, but uh, <laughs> we don't really get it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and the white kids were like, he's... I'm so down because I'm friends with Tyler and he's and he's like eh, you know what I mean? We should all be that way. Yeah, but yeah. so uh but I, I enjoyed his performance. I, I tell people, you know, just give it a listen. Just get give Igor a listen. It's a, it's not bad. Um I'm not doing unpopular opinion today. You you were standing for Lizzo. So, yes. Um I am standing for, I, I don't think we did Burn a Boy, but I'm standing for Burn a Boy. He has a song out with uh, Jay Hawks, I think is his name. I think and I, I didn't it add it into my new music because I did literally just hear it today. It just came out. That song. Oh. <laughs> we, I just love Burn a Boy. He is just, oh, he can't do no wrong. Oh, and you know what I found out today? And I would like to scream at the top of my lungs on the outside. Um, coffee is coming to town. She won a Grammy. Mm, yes, she did. Guess when she coming to town? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Play play is the name of the song. Um, but that is why I'm standing for Burner Boy is because yeah. everything he touched, get on, look at, breathe. It's good. It's good. Um, he is the baby of. He is the baby of. of Afro punk, Afro beat. Yeah, I was gonna say Afro, Afro, <laughs> Afro punk. What I'm talking about. Um, but uh, coffee is coming to Atlanta during the same time as I will be in Carnival. Maybe I'll just go for damn. I mean, record it a little bit. It's um her and all the people I love because they're having an international party here in Atlanta, and I'll for be those on, of us that will not be going to Carnival. I'll be on an island. What you frowning for? You'll be on an island. I'm not frowning. I'm sick of you. This is, um. my, this is my fire marshal bill face. <laughs> you missing. You got way more hair than he does. I guess, too. Oh. Uh, what else? Oh, happy birthday. Whose birthday is today? J. Cole. Jermaine. Jermaine Cole. Jermaine Cole. And Rick Ross. And Ross. Rick, and Rakim. Yes. So happy birthday! Happy to both birthday to y'all. Um, I feel like we out of whack, but we could just get to the topic. The main topic of today is white rappers. White rappers. Yes. I'm gonna get out this rap zone. I feel like since we came back, we've been on rap, rap, rap. We are gonna get out this uh, riggedy, riggedy rap and get back to some R and B, some jazz, and something else. Yeah. And we never had our John Mayer show. We didn't do our John Mayer I didn't show. Forget about that. Okay. Yes. So um, maybe we should do John Mayer next week. You want to do John Mayer next week? Yeah, we can do John Mayer next week. Okay. Now you know what we're doing next week? We, uh, we're doing more white people. We're doing more white people. More white people. More white people. Yes, more white people. All right. All right. All right, who you got? I got I got all the white rappers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, 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 nine. Nope. Nine. All right, name one. Wait, let me get my pen so I know what to scratch off because I know how you get down. You take all my ideas. Um... A lot of people don't really, they know he raps, but they don't really kind of know he raps because they think of him, I think now they think of him as a producer guy. Who? LP. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. on my list. Yeah. yeah, because he used to be in Company Flow. He rapped when he was in Company Flow, and now that he's part of Running the Jewels, he does a lot of the music, but he still rap a little bit. Yeah, like, I, I think that people envision him more on the production side than on the rap than side. Than on the rap side. Yeah. And that's just because I just think that's because of, of Killer Mike has a his voice, you know what I'm saying? But uh, LP's on my list. <laughs> Go. I have Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Y'all know Vanilla Ice with the whole Ice Ice, ice Baby. Ice, baby. 
Yeah, see. Every yeah. alpha in the world knows that song. Mm-hmm. Next. <laughs> um, no, I don't have time for your shenanigans, ma'am. Everlast? Yes. Because I love to. And Everlast came from House of, House Pain, of Pain, which is on my list. Yes. Yeah. So we, we, we think. This. Yeah. Everlast. Yeah. He always his voice was always so different to me, mm-hmm. but you know after he got um after he had that heart attack and he became Muslim, mm-hmm. and then that's when he started doing the singing thingy. Yeah, the sing songy. Whitey thingy. Ford, that album was actually good, <laughs> but yes, Everlast. So, uh, I have House of Pain jump around, so I'm gonna pass through there and say Paul Wall. Get off my list. Sitting on four four. Man, listen. Switch your house. Uh, good family man, black wife. <laughs> Look. Come on, Paul Wall. Yes. You Texas know, is I'm going to head to Texas yes. so Paul Wall can give me some grills. There you go. That's, that's what, what he going, do. That's what he do. There I'm going to give me some grills from Paul Wall. Trust uh, me. Who was also on, uh, what's that Jill Scott song that he was on? Yes. Uh, that song was a mess. That song was good. It was good in a mess. Uh-huh. All right. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, Action Bronson, who sounds like Ghostface Killer. Don't need so on the, much. On the low. But I, I have come to love Action Bronson. I know he can rap. But, like, if you've ever watched his show, Fuck That's Delicious, mm-hmm. on Vice, mm-hmm. it's even funny. He's funnier yeah. on there. So, I, I always see him on. I watch that show. So I fell in love with Action Bronson watching the TV show. He's a funny dude. He really is a funny dude. But he can rap his ass off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have. Oh no! I just you just said that. Oh girl, Beastie Boys. Yeah. When I, okay. Say what? T- yes, I love the Beastie Boys. Let me tell you something. You can talk about the Beastie Boys. Um, I'm not a fan of the Beastie Boys. I have the Beastie Boys' greatest hits. Uh, and one of my favorite uh, favorite songs by the Beastie Boys. Was intergalactic. Intergalactic. Yes, yeah. and I would always, uh, when me and LeRon were together, I was like, when we have kids, I'm gonna teach my kids how to pop them up to intergalactic. <laughs> he, used to, he used to be like, I hate you, and no, you're not. <laughs> and this is why she made me no aunt yet. Yes, but um, I yeah. absolutely love the Beastie Boys. I mean, I grew up with the Beastie Boys, and then you know when they had that turn where they went. Their music went different, but later in their careers, they went very like jazzy, mm-hmm. which and that shit was even better. Like it was just, it was kind of like as because they evolved. When I started liking them is when they went jazzy. Because I think that once they they started to evolve, their music started to evolve and it changed. Mm-hmm. And then if you were a Beastie Boys fan when they rap, like because they were still rapping with the jazzy stuff, it just the sound was really different Mm -hmm. and it was I mean but it was nice to see growth in them in that way Mm -hmm. so um you know when um I can't remember which one died Jesus help me Lord um but when he passed away they said they weren't gonna make any more records as the Beastie Boys so once that happened that they were done but I the Beastie Boys have a wonderful catalog and if you've never heard their the stuff they did later later in their careers you should go back and listen to it it's really really good stuff um, we talk about him almost every other week. Mac Miller. Yes, I was gonna let you. I didn't even put that on my list because I knew no, you were gonna mention. I miss Mac Miller. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I'm not even gonna talk about it. It's been just too much uh death going on, so we just yes. gonna move on. So yes, Mac Miller, which y'all should know from seven, eight, twelve of our podcasts. Yes. 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 Who else you got? Um, Bubba Spark, call it Paul. Booty, 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 <laughs> fucking everywhere. Well. I found you, Miss New Booty. Now, Bubba Sparks is from Georgia. Georgia. And uh, I think he's from Athens, where the University of Georgia is located. But, I mean, he was a rapping ass white boy. He got with Timberland and did some things. And then when uh, him and Timberland wasn't working together, he, that's when New Booty came out. I think he was uh, working with, um, call it. Holly Park, because that's how it's Kali spelled. Park, Bubba um, but that was, if anybody remembers back in the day, Kali Park is was DJ Smurf. Mm-hmm. So, um, but he's a producer now. So, um, but that was when they were working together, and that's when New Booty came out, and that was, you know, that was everything. Yes. But then, you know, I I heard that Bubba went on and 
got married, had some kids, and became a family man. He just wasn't doing music anymore. He Paul Wallace. So he did Paul Wallace. Paul Wallace. I mean, but he ain't giving us grills. Like, yeah. come on, Bubba. We need mm-hmm. something. Come on. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Uh, I got two more, and I think I remember memorizing. G Easy. He was on my list too. <laughs> G Easy. I super. I don't. I don't care what y'all say. I really like G. I like G. I like. I like the G Easy now, <laughs> not like the G Easy when he came out when he was doing that poppy shit. No, I like the Oakland G Easy yes. that is from the Bay, not who the pop star G Easy. Yes, I'm no. a fan of Gerald. Yes, I'm a fan <laughs> of Gerald also. All right, who we got? The last one I have on my list is Brother Ali. Oh, very good. Very, yes. very good. I like Brother yes, Ali. Yes, yes, yes. I have um, <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> He's your favorite. Jesus with Eminem. I like you if you be with Eminem. Jesus. Yes, She MGK. always talk yes. about it, Machine I'm Gun Kelly. I am a fan of MGK. Never I been. Am. Never been a fan. Um, I also didn't mention Yellow Wolf. Well, there's some controversy. I know. That. So I left I that. Know. So I left him off the list on I, purpose. We let we left him. Anybody beefing with Royce? Anybody that Royce is beefing with? I'm beefing with. So I left him off the Blitz. list. So he got to go. Yes. Oh, you know who else is on my list? I didn't realize. Who? Macklemore. <sighs> Who's coming out with an album this year that we're not gonna listen to because we're not gonna have that negativity on the podcast. But I wonder if Macklemore, with his new album, is gonna go back to. Old Macklemore? Old Macklemore or Pop Sensation Macklemore? Uh, I think he's going to do Pop Sensation. You know, I just had this conversation. So, we were at work talking about pop versus R&B. Right. And we were saying that, excuse me, Justin Timberlake's last album, he went back to the whites. Yeah. And it flopped. So, he's supposed to be coming out with a new album this year. We wonder if he's going to come back to us. He needs to, you know your wheelhouse, Justin. Stop. Don't play. You know your wheelhouse. Country. It's not your wheelhouse. Not your wheelhouse, no. Well, that's just like Justin Bieber's new album is going to be called R&B Bieber. There was an album that if Justin Bieber, put, that Justin Bieber put out. Shut the whole damn podcast That down. Justin Bieber yeah. put out a few oh, years ago that was all R&B records. And it came out in a, in, it was like an EP or something. And it didn't do well, but it was real R&B music. And that's what he said he wanted to do. So, uh, Yummy. Is the first example it's trash. of well, if that's the case, and all the R and B on the radio is trash because it sounds like everything else. I don't disagree with you. With okay, that. so we are in agreement today. Now, for me, girl, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum. I'm a, I'm a hold on to the wall. Yeah, but yes, I like the song. So Tan will not be joining us next week on the podcast because she gonna be winding the yummy. Yeah. Body rolling. Bad and rolling. Since you talking, where is my sexual behavior in the ghetto song? Girl. Oh. Do I have to retire this segment? No, you don't. I, I just like I all the ones that all the songs that I'm looking for, they're new hoey songs. And ain't no hoey, they ain't got the lyrics on on the internet. Ain't got no lyrics. There's yes. no whole lyrics. No Every more? time I start looking for the the uh, like the song is one called Waterfall. Splash down like a waterfall. Splash Ain't no words on the internet. I wanted to do that one this week. I have picked songs. I cannot find these words. So that means I'm going to have to go back to old nasty songs, Marvin C's. God damn it. I Look, want a new I'm trash. <laughs> not, old Marvin tr- I'm I was like, <laughs> not old trash. Look, I can do Clarence Carter. Come on. Uh-uh. Don't get stroking. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's what I be doing. You know, I heard that song as a child, and I didn't understand what he was talking about. Shoot, me and Jamie heard that song. We were like, ooh. I was like, what he? Why? What is he stroking to the east and the west? Ooh. I was like, I don't know what this is about. Ooh, that's all we said. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, and you know, oh, let me find a down home. So I love song. the best. Okay. Yeah, that was a mess, but yeah, I can't. The new, like I said, the new trash songs. The lyrics I can't find, and it's usually because it's artists who ain't really broke yet. If y'all know some trashy songs with yeah. some lyrics to them, send them to Tam. Yeah, or if you know the send if you the if songs. you know the lyrics to Freak Freak by Coca Vanga, send them to me because I can't find them. I don't want to do Freak Freak for, for weeks now. <laughs> what? <laughs> On God's internet, the, the words is not. Uh, the name of the song is Freak Freak. That's it, Savage. I thought it was okay. 
Coca oh, Betty. Uh-huh. Let me see. Excuse us for a second. Yes, yeah, in the middle. We got time. It's only 34 minutes. We got time. Thank you. <laughs> I've never, never. That's what I say. You've never seen that. In the history of going on Genius, <laughs> you say ever the, seen. The lyrics have not been released for this song. Yes, yes. Yeah, so they're nowhere. Oh, Because Genius always has them. Yes, that's all I'm I was like, like well. Uh, and that's the song uh, I had. Look. Uh, so, if you know the lyrics to Freak Freak. Please send them please to send me. Them I would love to. to Tim. Yes. Because I, I, I mean... The song is a bop. Because I don't want no problems. Um, last but not least, hey, whatever happened to? Guess who I'm doing it on this week? Who? Snow and Fama. I used to know the words. I don't. And Fama. And Fama. 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 I can't remember now. All right. You know, that was my goal to, to learn all the words. Oh, Jesus. Canadian reggae musician Darren Kenneth O'Brien. He sounded black, didn't he? Darren Kenneth and then O'Brien. Threw you uh, off. Yes. Initially started out as a DJ. Snow stands for Superb Notorious Outrageous White Boy. It fits. Okay. Um, the song, the song that we were singing that you should know in form Former. is actually a real life story based on a 1989 incident where he was charged with two counts of attempted murder. At the time, he was detained in Toronto for a year, and then the charges were reduced to aggravated assault, and then he was acquitted. Anyway, goodness. Um, so what's he doing now? So in 2009, his common common law wife died of cancer. In 2013, he created the whole music for Yahoo. So if y'all ever called Yahoo and listened, he was doing the whole music. He did a little ditty for Yahoo. He getting paid for that whole in music. In 2013. Um, in 2014, he ended up being signed to Bugatti Music. I don't know who is, yeah, what she's doing. Um, he ended up working with Cool and Dre and Scott Storch, mm-hmm. uh, but nothing really came of that. Mm-hmm. And any music that he released, he devoted it to like cancer causes. Okay. Um, the reason why I did know is because four podcasts ago, three podcasts, 2019 podcast, uh, a song called Calma, Con Calma came out and he's uh, yeah. actually on the song, song with yes, that. Yes, I remember that. Yankee. So that is what he's doing. He is just doing little songs here and there. But yeah, because he's still getting paid off and for them. Yes, he is. Because if you go to a good reggae party, it always come on. I keep on moving now. Okay, guess what? Under forty five minutes, we're yes. done. We doing John Mayer next. Oh, I'm gonna love next week's episode. I'll tell the story about when I met John Mayer. No, his penis is not. Um, never mind. I never saw that. We're gone. Well, have a wonderful week. Thank you guys for watching and joining. If you got, thank you for the comments. I got your comment, Michael W, about Sample the Great being one of your female favorite artists, and I listened to her album. Oh, I got this indigestion. I'm sorry, y'all. I listened to her album. It must have been the chick last year. Cause I'm with you. We got indigestion. We gotta go. <laughs> We can't stay on Damn the podcast because we got indigestion. Um, Man, and yes, her me. album was awesome. And I apologize that I didn't add her to the list because I listened and she was good. Um, that's all I got. We got a burp. We'll talk to y'all later. Right. Have a good